Hey guys, I'm John Rettinger from John4Lakers.com with a review for you of the Palm Trio Pro. So let me go over the specs on the device, or at least some of the ones you care about. It's running Windows Mobile 6.1. It's got Wi-Fi. It's got Bluetooth. It's got GPS. It's got all everything you'd expect a high-end Windows Mobile business phone to have, and it really puts it in a very thin, thin package. You can view PDFs, you can edit Word, Excel, PowerPoint documents. It's got 3G and Edge for global support, uh, 3G just for AT&T bands in the USA. And I mean, it's just so thin and tiny. So let me go ahead and give you a quick size comparison. Move the camera down. Here's the Palm Trio Pro. Let's compare it to another device of a similar form factor. Here's the BlackBerry Bold. Significantly thinner. It's thinner on that side. Let's compare it to, let's throw some more phones in the mix. We've got the BlackBerry Storm. Stack them all on top of each other, actually. It's almost exactly the same size as the BlackBerry Storm. There's a thickness comparison for you. And let's add everybody's favorite, or at least my favorite phone, the iPhone to the mix. So size-wise compared to the iPhone. It's much thinner. Size-wise appears to be a little bit thicker, but not by much. And for another Windows Mobile comparison, here's the AT&T Fuse with a slide-out QWERTY keyboard. It's a little bit wider and significantly thinner due to the lack of slide-out keyboard. So I've been a Trio user in the past. I had a Trio 600, I had a Trio 650, even more recently I had a Trio 750 uh, for AT&T. So I've tried the Palm operating system and I've tried Windows Mobile. And while the Palm operating system for its time was amazing, fast, solid, and robust, it's aged significantly and Palm has moved away a little bit from their core operating system to accommodating Windows Mobile. Now I'm admittedly not the biggest Windows Mobile aficionado or fan out there. And I was expecting really big things from Palm. Um, you know, in a form factor this nice, this small, and this pocketable, um, I was really hoping they were going to wow me with little tweaks in here or there to make Windows Mobile much more usable. And they really didn't. You're left with standard Windows Mobile that you find on any other device. Even the HTC Fuse, for example, put uh, HTC's TouchFlow 3D on it for uh, some 3D navigation and to make Windows Mobile just easier to use. Uh, Palm really did not. So that was definitely disappointing. You're left with just the standard Windows mobile interface, which is really showing its age uh, significantly, in my opinion. Uh, positive of the device, though, I mean, the size and design of it, it really is the most beautiful device Palm has ever done. I really give them credit for it. They crammed a lot into a teeny tiny little package. Um, and it's gorgeous, too. I mean, it really is a nice device. Everything down from the box, which you saw me unbox, to the phone itself. I mean, they really did a fantastic job. As of yet, a carrier has not picked this up, uh, so it's only available unlocked from Palm themselves, uh, with which I believe is $549. But there are rumors that there may be a CDMA variant coming to Sprint. So if you're a Sprint customer and you're looking at this with Envy, you may want to hold off, and it could be coming uh, your way soon. So guys, you know, in conclusion, can I recommend this device? If you're a Windows Mobile business user and you're looking for something thin and pocketable, it's a great alternative. It is very expensive because it's unsubsidized, as I mentioned before, at 549 bucks. so it's really not a bargain. I think there are better deals out there for phones. Reception-wise, it was fine. I had a little bit of white noise on my end, and people I was talking to said they could hear an echo, but nothing too bad, and that was only in one or two instances, and I used the phone for uh, quite a while. Um, it doesn't ship with Opera Mobile 9.5 or anything like that. You're stuck with Pocket Internet Explorer, so if you do get this, download a third-party browser, please. Pocket Internet Explorer is aging so badly. I mean, it's aging like I don't know, Sylvester Stallone. I mean, it just looks bad. So, I can't recommend the device to everybody. On a 1 to 5 scale, I give it a solid maybe 2.5, and, and that's really just because of the design. The design is fantastic. Um, so, my overall take and opinion on the Palm Trio Pro. Hope it was helpful, and if you're looking to get the phone, you know, shoot any questions you might have my way. Put them down below, and I will check them out. Uh, this device has to go back to Palm, so this will be the last video I will make actually having it, unfortunately. 
But I hope this was helpful. And um, I guess the last point I want to make is in regards to the keyboard here. I get a lot of questions uh, about that. It is a very small, kind of chiclet and centro style keys, but I adjusted typing on actually very, very quickly. I don't have the biggest thumbs in the world, but you know, they're relatively decent. And uh, I got used to it. I think you will too. So typing was not an issue, um, you know, on the phone. So guys, John Rettinger with John4Lakers.com with a real quick overview and review of the Palm Trio Pro by Palm. For more information, be sure to check out the website, www.john4lakers.com. And for some exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.